Hey, Kurt, I go. I was interested in doing some martial arts training. I figured I'd give your gym a call. Can you tell me a little bit about your program? Yeah, we do. Uh, we're primarily aimed at mixed martial arts, so our, our main focus is cage fighting, but we do we do everything in between. Um, we do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, boxing, uh, MMA, wrestling, and then we do a uh, all-ages karate program as well. Okay, well, I was actually, I, I was interested in the, the, the MMA. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and what kind of kind of programs that, that involves? Uh, our MMA, if you're actually looking to get in there and compete, it involves everything. We make, we make all the fighters get in there, do, uh, they got to do karate, they got to do jujitsu, they got to do kickboxing, they got to do boxing, they got to do wrestling. The MMA class is a uh, more, uh, facilitated to guys that got fights coming up, the actual class itself. So like if somebody's fighting a wrestler, then if their strength is boxing and they're gonna be using they're gonna be working their strength with boxing versus a wrestler. It's a lot more uh, a lot more technical and uh, open spar kinda. Spar you got spar in there? Oh yeah, every day. Okay, well this is this right hell, this might be right in my alley. I'm a trained martial artist. I'm from I'm from Yelm. Y'all know where Yelm is? Okay, well, I knew a style known as the Yelm Tussle. Now, I don't know if you spent a lot of time there, but help Dennis Hollins from Yelm. I've known him from way back in the day in the Deschutes River. I need some guys that's real game to spar. Now, I'm probably about six foot four, but about the toughest 155 pounds of Texan you ever met. Now, when I the problem is that when I spar with people, I just hit too damn hard. <laughs> I mean, I need you. I, we're talking. I need some twenty-two ounce Grant gloves, not the raised gloves, because them the puncher's gloves. I mean, I, mostly it's kind of a Savant influence stand-up Muay Thai style. But I just want to make sure when I come in there that I'm not going to be a little bit above everybody else. So y'all got some game boys down there we can trade level with? Yeah, most definitely, man. Uh, we reopen Monday. Um, pop in Monday if you can. What time is it? What time do y'all open Monday? Because I'll, I'll bring a, I got two different mouthpieces I use when I want to either slip punches or use the Philly shell. But hell, I'll go. I mean, I can go BJ Penn on your ass in a heartbeat. You wouldn't believe it. So, what time are you, you guys going to be open? Uh, we open at 5. Uh, kids from 5 to 6. All the adult classes start at 6 o'clock. We do jits at 6 and then MMA and boxing at 7. What what is that? Tell me a little bit more about the jiu jitsu program. Is that that uh, that Ricks and Gracie stuff? It is <laughs> pretty much, man. It's just it's just Brazilian jiu jitsu. It's uh, it's like uh, pretty much like submission wrestling. Okay, do you do guy or no guy? <laughs> it's it's gi or no gi. It's both. Oh gi. Oh well, hell. well, thanks for the clarification. I remember I was, I was browsing around on the interwebs and I saw guy or no guy. Hell, that's how I was pronouncing. I had a, I did a couple of tours in Vietnam and took a little bit of shrapnel, if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, I just, I said guy or no guy. It sounds sounds vaguely vaguely homoerotic, and I just was a little bit confused. So I'm glad we cleared. Now let's talk about your Muay Thai stylings. Are you guys more the traditional Thai? Burmese boxing, everything goes, or is it more American kickboxing? Uh, it's it's more American, but it's modified Muay Thai. So we do we do we do a decent amount of Muay Thai training, but it's primarily American. Okay, now what if I want to show you? Uh, let's just talk about a little turkey here. I want to talk about a barter, an exchange of services for lessons. What if I were to come down there with your boys in my shorts and my two mouthpieces? and show you a secret kick that ain't never been shown in the Western United States. I'm talking Anderson Silva, K1, Jerome LeBanner type of thing. Now, I can show your boys the kick, but in exchange, you have to give me an unlimited supply of fingerless gloves. Is that a deal? All right, man. Now tell me a little bit about your pedigree. Are you all y'all a wrestler, a boxer, a shoot fighter, a truck driver? What? 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 How did you end up in this in this mess? Actually, man, I'm, I'm just a straight up kickboxer. I started out with karate and then got into American kickboxing. No uh, kidding. Like 90, yeah. Well, you know, did you ever see that movie "Say Anything" with uh, that John Cusack kid? <laughs> no, man. Okay, well, it, it's a movie about a young man that's a kickboxer, and he says kickboxing is the sport of the future, and it is. Now, listen, 
I'm going. I get off work about 3:30. I got to go in and put a new uh, carburetor on my Chevelle. But I'm going to be down there on Monday, and I just want you to bring the biggest, toughest, rustless, boss rootingest types of guys you got, because I'll give them some heavy leather. Y'all hear me? All right, brother. Listen, if done correctly, crane kick cannot be blocked. All right, buddy. I'll see you.